So good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, people. Listen, it's been boring as hell without any football this weekend, but we plow through. That's how we do right now on this channel. And listen, there's so many differences in opinion, um, thought processes and stuff like that on how the Premier League finalises the table, whether it can continue, whether it can't continue, um, whether whether the league resumes or not is irrelevant. Let's be real. Um, as it stands right now, the league is done. It's finished. It's game over. It, it, it's finito. Um, but what do we do in terms of going forward? There's so many outcomes in terms of do Liverpool win a title? Uh, do the bottom three get relegated? What about the teams that are promoted? What about the lower leagues? Do the lower league teams go again? Do we write the whole season off and pretend it never happened and just go with what we did last season in terms of the teams that started in the Premier League in August last season? And that's what we go with. What about Man City? A Man City still banned? Obviously, they're likely to be banned. Does that mean that when we go again, if we go again with the teams that started last season or the season we're on um, that hasn't completed, does that mean the team that finished fifth then qualify for Champions League? Um, does that mean that Man City stay banned? I don't know. There's so many theories on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Sky Sports News. Sky Sports News. Um, I'm going to play some of the videos on Sky Sports News rather than waffling. Um, let's read some of these. The Premier League has been left in limbo after the postponement of the campaign until April the 4th at the earliest. Um, officials from all 20 clubs held an emergency meeting on Thursday to establish plans for the remainder of the season. With one senior source at the Premier League um, at club telling Sky Sports there is a 75% chance this season will not be completed. We then go further down. Um, these are the possible list of options that are available um, that could be scenarios that happen. So I'm going to play some of these videos. I'm going to sit back and be quiet and you can read and listen and hear. Uh, declared the season as null and void. Let's click on that video. After the uh, advertising, of course. Well done, Sky Sports. Let's go full screen on that. Let's just sit back and play the video then, baby. Come on. The video is nearly done. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's a nice car. I said it yesterday. It's a nice mower. Uh, very close. Very close. Very close. Uh, but yeah, that is a nice mower. It's not bad for a VW, is it? Let's be real. There's there's another one. Come on, we can't even skip these right now. Um, it's difficult to know what uh, all Premier League clubs are thinking, but uh, we have had an insight into what some of the clubs are thinking. Uh, the first thing to say is that they were all in favour of the Premier League's recommendation uh, that the league be suspended until April the 4th. Now, some of the clubs uh, think that if football restarts on April the 4th, uh, then uh, conceivably the season could be completed uh, by the scheduled uh, finish date of May the 17th. And that could involve, of course, games being played behind closed doors. But some of the other clubs, quite a few of the other clubs, uh, people I've been speaking to say that they are resigned to the fact that they think the season is over. They can't see how any more football is going to be uh, played this season. Uh, one senior source at a club just a few minutes ago, uh, said to me, I can't see any chance we are back in three weeks. This will go on for months. You wonder even about the start of next season, I would say there's a 75% chance that this season will not be completed. Uh, so the Premier League clubs all in favour of the league being suspended. Uh, some of them think uh, the league can return and be completed uh, but quite a few telling me that they feel that this season may well already be over. Well, there you go. That's option number one. I don't know how we get rid of all these, but there we go. We'll click back on Sky Sports and we'll continue down. So that's option number one. Uh, option number two, if my internet decides to work. 
Uh, option number two. Declare the season null and void, but crown Liverpool as champions is an option. Um, and that is a, listen, at the end of the day, they've walked away with a title quite easily this season. Um, this on Sky Sports website says, most glaring issue with the null and void option is the ob obvious unfairness to Liverpool's 25 points clear in the Premier League. Um, could the Premier League vote for Liverpool to be crowned champions? Would any club vote against such a motion? It's fascinating to speculate, but impossible to know. Still, it's worth noting that even Brady, Karen Brady, I'm going to come to her in a minute, um, acknowledges that denying Liverpool the title would be robbery. That's true. Um, but where do you draw the line? We're going to see. Legends We're going to see. Uh, by going where no one has Man City are still a host, have to host Liverpool, who have previously Time allowed me to step away. We're going to watch the this. After the obvious advert, history. obviously there's two of them. The so we're going to watch this. And then we're going to go into she, it. And the thing is, legends are I think it is unfair to not count the title available at not as a title. PPR They've been unreal, the man. You just know they won't win it again next season. Let's go into advert number two. Uh, Zaza Boom, baby. Where's Thierry on re with you? He's just six points away from delivering Liverpool's first Premier League title. But Jurgen Klopp has supported the decision to postpone matches this was Klopp's message to Liverpool fans. If it's a choice between football and the good of the wider society, it's no contest. Well, speaking of Liverpool fans, we can speak to one now. And it is Neil Atkinson from the Anfield Wrap who's going to be joining us. Hi to you, Neil. Thanks for joining us. Listen, Klopp's seeing the bigger picture, but with Liverpool so close to clinching their first title for 30 years, are you... How are you feeling about it, the fact that it might not happen? I'm very relaxed about it. It's clear to me, firstly, that the scale of the crisis is massive. But the other thing as well is that if this season does get to the point where they decide they've just got to stop at this stage, it's inarguable Liverpool have been the best team in the country and are the champions. You know, I think that people might try to have a bit of, a bit of light-hearted banter about it, and that's all right. But anyone who's, who's deadly seriously trying to take the notion that Liverpool haven't been the dominant force this season just comes over like a flat earther, like they're denying the facts, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> So I'm really quite relaxed it's about true, that. It's more the integrity of the competition around, for instance, Leicester City, around, for instance, Bournemouth, uh, around, for instance, fourth or fifth, depending on what happens with the Manchester City thing. And obviously the sides coming up, that's where it's a bigger deal. The Liverpool part is the easy part. You know, Liverpool have won 27 out of 29 games. You know, I was, I was lucky enough to be at Leicester uh, to be part of uh, you know, that 4-0 victory. And, and that was the day where I knew this is the best team in the country. These are going to be league champions. There's no Aguero moment for us. It's all done and dusted. We've had the emotional journey. It was just a matter of being able to share that big moment with the players. And it'll be a real shame not to get that now. Neil, this morning we've heard that Karen Brady thinks that the Premier League season should be scrapped and declared null and void. Do you think that would be unfair? Yeah, it'd be absolutely ridiculous, but Karen Brady says a lot of things that are absolutely ridiculous and so she shouldn't be taken seriously <laughs> at any stage of proceedings. I think it's quite clear that this season's got only got nine games left. If they can get them played at any stage, really, this is the time to do it. You can mess around with next season, you can change next season's rules. This season, at some sort of stage when football resumes, should just be completed. And if that has to be a case where players are having to play every three days or so and behind closed doors, we do that. This isn't just a matter of, from a Liverpool point of view, as I say, for me, it's a much greater issue if you support West Bromwich Albion or Leeds or Fulham, as oh, Peter Ridsdale same. just said. You know, at some sort same. of stage, these seasons need to be completed. I'm sure they will be. For me, the shame will be. You know, you think about what everything Jurgen Klopp's done since he's come to Anfield. It's been very much about putting supporters and footballers on the same page. And it's a real shame that those footballers are, are now unlikely, I think, to get a moment to share their victory with supporters, whether in the form of a parade or in the ground. And that's a real shame. We've had our moments. We've had our fun. For me, it's the footballers I feel sorry for. They've given us absolutely everything this season, these Liverpool players, absolutely everything. And you just couldn't be prouder of them. And the best way to say you couldn't be prouder of them is in front of 50,000 people at Anfield or a million people on the streets of Liverpool. That's the way you want to say we couldn't be prouder of you. We love the effort, everything you've given us this season. I've never been prouder of any Liverpool side. And the only way at the moment that can get put over is people like me being privileged enough to speak to people like you on this format and not where it should be, which is in front of in a stadium or on the streets of Liverpool to say you are the best Liverpool team we've ever seen and we couldn't love you anymore. 
Well, there you go. You've just had it from uh, from the Anfield rap. And uh, listen, I couldn't disagree with anything that guy said. Yeah, and this is the thing, like, I'm going to come to Karen Brady if, if my internet works. <laughs> it doesn't seem to want to work right now. Um, so we're just going to continue down. Um, listen, at the end of the day, right, Karen Brady can come out with all this talk about we should null and void the season. Yeah, yeah, that's all good, Karen Brady. Um, let's come off of that. Let's stop screen sharing that. And like I said, that was on Sky Sports. Um, so let's come off of that. At the end of the day, if West Ham United were uh, two points off fourth or two points off fifth, which we know as it stands is currently enough to get qualified for Champions League, but they had a game in hand, would Karen Brady be coming out giving it all the big one? Yeah, she wouldn't, would she? Karen Brady needs to wind her neck in. Let's be real. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Yeah, that girl has got a big mouth on her. Yeah, it's all well and good when you're struggling down near the bottom of the table and you're going, oh, just void the season. Void the season. Let's just null and void the season. Um, if you were three points or two points or one point off a Champions League qualification, yeah, and you had a game in hand or two games in hand, would you be flapping them gums, babes? Of course you wouldn't. So wind your neck in, realize the severity of this, and stop chatting absolute rubbish. Listen, leave it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, is she chatting rubbish? Let me know your thoughts on the Anfield Raps um, thoughts and comments on it. Let me know what you would do and how you would move this forward. I'd love to know what you guys think. Listen, until uh, later on today at 5 p.m. when I'll be back again, um, don't forget also at 9 o'clock um, at nine o'clock on Monday night, um, we're going to drop the podcast part two with Kenny Ken. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I've got loads of content coming. Listen, people can't keep up with me right now. We've got series after series after series, baby. We're moving. Work, work, work. Rihanna, baby. We've got it going on. So I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day, whatever it is you're doing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the watch longer i got planned for later will go ahead. Later, speeds.